Hi and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Andrea and today I want to show you how to make this beautiful Tunisian crochet surface stitch that brings a lot of texture to this pattern. This is a coal made in hand dyed sock yarn and this pattern is perfect for showing off those special hanks of hand dyed yarn that you have in your stash or that you might buy in the future. Of course you can use this stitch pattern for anything but I really like it for this application because it creates a very dense fabric but that is also thin because you're using a small hook size for this thin yarn. This is the back. As you can see it has beautiful texture on the back as well and you can also work this in the round if you have a double-ended hook but I worked it flat and then seamed it up on the back here. For this tutorial I will use some thicker yarn so I can show you the stitches and I hope you can see them well and an 8mm hook but for the cowl I used the sock yarn as I said and a 4mm hook so if you have thinner hooks with cables that you don't know what to do with this is the perfect application for those hooks. In this tutorial I will show you how to make the pattern repeat which consists of four stitches and three rows and you can multiply this across any number of stitches, any number of rows. Just be aware that there are three rows in the repetition and you need four stitches. If you want to you can skip the separating stitch here and just make these columns touch each other then you will have a multiple of three stitches. The cowl pattern is available in my shop if you want to try it out. I have six sizes in there and they're all made to fit snugly because they're made for spring and autumn when it's a bit chilly outside but not cold enough to warrant wearing something made of thick yarn. And this is a perfect accessory to wear when you're doing sports outdoors or gardening, taking a walk, hiking, any activity that requires you to move around more than just standing up. As I said, this pattern consists of repeats of four stitches. So we need to start with the foundation of a multiple of four plus one stitches or a multiple of four plus two loops on your hook. Use your preferred method for casting on this multiple of four. I will make nine chains and pick up nine loops to have a total of ten loops on my hook. After chaining nine we pick up the loops in the back bumps of the chains. Then at the end of the row we chain one yarn over pull through two to return and this is the foundation row. Then since this is a slightly curling pattern, I like to begin with a few rows of honeycomb stitch. Just like in the last video that I showed you, we have one simple stitch and one purl stitch all the way to the end of the row. And if you don't know how to make the honeycomb stitch, I have a separate video for that. If you want me to make videos for each of the stitches that I'm showing you here and the individual ones, please let me know and I will work on that. Next row we have one purl stitch, one simple stitch. At the end of the row we insert the hook behind the two vertical bars, pick up a loop, chain one, yarn over pull through two to return. And this is a base of honeycomb. You can continue making more rows if you have a bigger project. But since I'm just making a swatch, I will stop here. And we will begin the pattern repeat. We have three knit stitches. So we insert the hook be between the two vertical bars of the stitch. Pick up a loop three times. And one reverse stitch. This separates the columns of special stitches. And we have the second repeat, three knit stitches, one reverse stitch. Then we have the last stitch behind the two vertical bars at the end of the row, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning of the row to return.
and the second row is the same. We have three knit stitches, one reverse stitch, three knit stitches, one reverse stitch. At the end of the row, we have the last stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning to return. And this is the interesting row here. Last week we had a cluster worked from the middle of the column. Now we work from the outside of the column. So the first stitch will be an extended Tunisian knit stitch worked in the middle stitch here in the third row from the current position. So we count one, two, and in the third we insert the hook, pick up a tall loop, and then we chain one. And that's a complete stitch, and we skip the one behind here. Then we have a regular knit stitch in the next stitch. And for the next stitch, we also work in the same stitch in the third row below. And we draw up a tall loop, chain one. And that's the special stitch. Then we have the reverse stitch. And we repeat this all the way to the end of the row. First stitch is worked in the middle of the column, three rows below. Then we have the regular knit stitch, and again into the same space, draw up a tall loop, chain one, and then we have the reverse stitch, and the end of the row. Last stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning to return. And then we repeat these three stitches. So let's make one more set. We have three knit stitches, one reverse stitch, three knit stitches, one reverse stitch. Last stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning to return. And next row is the same. Three knit stitches, one reverse stitch, three knit stitches, one reverse stitch. Last stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two. And now we have the third row. We work into the third row below here. Draw up a tall loop, chain one. Next knit stitch, and then go back into the same space, draw up a tall loop, chain one. You will notice that we worked into the middle stitch of this row. Then we reverse stitch, and again, tall loop, chain one, regular knit stitch, and then a tall loop, and chain one. Reverse stitch and last stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning to return. This is the pattern repeat, and you work it as many times as you need to make your project as big as you need it to be. If you want to make a cowl, then you'll use this stitch pattern, but if you want to make a flat project, add one more reverse stitch at the beginning of the pattern repeat here to make it symmetrical. Just like with the last week's stitch combination, you can also use this with thicker yarn, and you can use the stitch counts from that pattern, which is free on the blog, and make a cowl in thicker yarn like this one. Of course, it will be more suitable for winter than this one, which is made in much thinner yarn. Just make sure you don't skip the beginning and end honeycomb sections, which keep the project from curling. If you want to, I can also write up a blanket pattern for this stitch, or you can make up your own with the border that you like. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know when I publish the next video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you want to know when I publish new patterns, blog posts, testing calls, and events, 
please sign up to my emails. I send them out once every week or every two weeks. And if you want to try out more Tunisian crochet patterns, make sure to check out the playlists on my channel where there are many beautiful Tunisian crochet stitches and stitch combinations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!